Crane McIntyre is America's wonderkind of ballet. Uh, at a very early age, he began to make work for some of the biggest ballet companies in the world. Uh, you know, American Ballet Theater, New York City Ballet, San Francisco Ballet, Houston Ballet, also the Washington Ballet. I commissioned about five or six ballets from him over the years. Um, and uh, he uses classical music and rock music. Um, of all of the choreographers in the world that use rock music, I think he does it the best. He meets the music on its musical terms um, and uh, really gets inside the rhythm and gets inside what the music sounds like and what uh, emotional impulses are motivated by the sound of that music. So it's very musical kind of choreography. Um, and, uh, and he's also a funny guy, uh, keeping the dancers really moving in a, in a kind of funky way. A Day in the Life is one of Trey's signature works. Um, I actually commissioned it from him about 10 years ago. It premiered in Washington, D.C. And um, it it's a collection of Beatles songs, many of which are very well known, but some of which are a bit more obscure. Um, and it describes a, a community of people and their journey through life. And these music, this music provides a score for a kind of um, self-realization of this of this group of dancers. Um, it's athletic and attractive, um, but also emotionally really very real. Alexei Ratmansky is considered a modern genius. Uh, he's the artist in residence at American Ballet Theater and formerly was the artistic director of the Bolshoi Ballet. Uh, worked all around the world. And I think uh, Alexei, Alexei just understands ballet so beautifully and loves it so much, but he's got such a good sense of humor in the work. The, the work crackles with wit. And in this case, uh, he tackled the very famous and iconic Sasson uh, score, Carnival of the Animals. Um, he's used Sasson's libretto. Um, many of the characters we expect to be there are there. For example, the dying swan. But he's also surprised us with jellyfish and many other uh, many other items. It's really a very very witty, funny, energetic, uh, exciting work um, filled with with some tongue in cheek humor, uh, beautiful designs. Uh, it's just an exhilarating. Uh, kind of like an exhilarating, intelligent lollipop of a ballet. Christopher Wheeldon is one of the most sought-after choreographers in the world. He's British, uh, was the resident choreographer of New York City Ballet, and is an artist in residence at the Royal Ballet in London. Um, but he also uh, works on Broadway, and his direction and choreography for An American in Paris uh, won the Tony Award a couple of years ago. Um, he's got this really wonderful, warm, uh, dry sense of humor that just enlivens the studio and, and inspires the dancers. Chris Wielden's ballet Rush uh, is one of his most beautiful ballets. It's got really intelligent music um, and uh, has it's kind of jazz inspired, has this energy of today. Um, the dancers create beautiful classical lines but the whole thing crackles with 21st century drive, energy, and invention. Um, I think this is a really great introduction to Hong Kong Ballet. The production has three very diverse works. Um, you're seeing the best of the best in terms of uh, choreographers who are working today. These are geniuses at the top of their form. Um, and the whole evening is filled with so much youthful freshness and fizz, uh, intelligence, and athleticism. Um, I think that just the sheer beauty and athleticism of the artists will be inspiring. It'll be a great night out.